Stop by to interact with the community and I every Friday night at 8 o'clock for live stream Fridays. Welcome trolls. <laughs>March 21st, 2019, I'm Bruce Schwartz, I'm from Montreal, Quebec. We're looking at the full moon of last night, March 20th. It was getting very cloudy, actually it always was cloudy, I never uh, was able to get through the clouds entirely, but let's take it to our advantage. You saw at the beginning, the first frame there, that was the cloud that we were seeing, but I adjusted it by descending the exposure sharpened it just a little bit got it just perfectly in focus and we could see through a good layer of clouds with this telescope it's surprising i did not think i was going to keep any of this footage and actually it's great it's really good and the cloud i'm using it to my advantage it actually cut down some of that light yeah imagine um so the Terminator line, we could use that to see the surface, not even the clouds. And we're going to take a look at the beautiful atmosphere that's around uh, the surface. The saffron colors, purples, blues, yellows, and reds. Thanks for watching, everyone. The colors that are on the surface are changing all of the time, and I'm noticing that with this telescope. And in particularly around common craters like Plato Crater, Copernicus Crater, already Mare Serenitatis for the full moon here, we already noticed different green colors. It's always going to be different depending on what the Terminator line is, and now we're looking at it, um, the full moon. And the full moon is actually hard to see, guys, and the surface is almost near impossible to see any elevation but I'm surprised as to how I was able to get it here this is one of my favorite views is when you see the edge the outer limits of the moon here like that really looks like a nice movie pass right you'd see in Star Wars we see all the colors like that and that's the atmosphere it's all around the moon now whether this be because the of the of Earth's geo corona that extends beyond the moon um, I don't know but the moon itself could have its own high elevated um, level of oxygen on the surface itself. We don't know that yet. We really do not know that. I believe that it's a cloud layer that we are seeing on the surface and that's why everything looks um, clung together and that's why everyone says that it looks like there's a glass on, on the moon we hear often because everyone's noticing that there's a layer and different layers. So. At times we see descending layers. Well, of course, there are descending layers. NASA themselves admitted, uh, admitted really not long ago that there are descending levels as low as 10,000 feet on the surface of the moon. If you're just arriving to this channel and you subscribed or just curious and clicking on a video to see what's going on, the videos are very controversial. But I assure you, if you look at a couple of the videos, a lot of truth is being seen. It's straight up raw truth. I found some type of being that is up on the surface of the moon. It's hard to scale and size exactly where in between the earth and the moon these UFOs are. At times we can see UFOs that look very large, but they could be closer to earth. The same thing goes for the meteors and asteroids that I'm finding with the infrared camera. But by common sense, and along with you guys in the community, we've been coming up to some many um, uh, great conclusions as to what exactly I'm capturing and to what exactly we can see up there on the moon. So this is an amazing support. It's a supported channel from all the community that's here and the findings are incredible. So if you're just arriving here, I know, excuse the expression, there's a lot of bull crap out there on YouTube, but I assure you, um, this is all straight up research, no tampering, no trickery. When filters are used, which is very rare, I also always indicate it. And you'll see, uh, as I reproduce the videos, um, the same way of filtering and editing uh, comes up and it's very easy to follow the research. A lot of finding clouds, UFOs on the surface, guys, even creatures at times, all documented. The ISS uh, station went by, space station caught that once. 
So there's a lot of findings here. So thanks a lot for stopping by. I'm going to shut my app now, get some music up, and I'm going to stay up late and get yet another late video up after here. Video number three. Thanks for supporting everyone.
Very special thank you to Bill Bill Solomon, Harold Hughes, Suzanne Paul for the generous contributions. And just recently, James McCammon. Thanks for the generous contribution, bro. I really appreciate it. And James uh, left a message on the website. Thanks, James. I appreciate it. And I always do when you guys leave a message. Love your Cypress. Thanks for bringing the truth to those of us willing to listen. Well, I'll tell you what. Thanks for listening, James. And welcome to the community. I greatly appreciate your generous contribution.